Hey everybody, I'm Saban Adams and I'm back with another quick tip. And in this tip, we're gonna be looking at how to model four different kinds of relationships in your Prisma schema. And those are gonna be one-to-one -one relationships, one-to-many relationships, and then the two different kinds of many-to-many -many relationships, both implicit and explicit. And to represent these, I'll be showing different schemas and just simple queries that I've built with those different schemas. So let's jump right into the first one and that's gonna be a one-to-one -one relationship. And here you're gonna see a simple relationship between a user and a profile. So a user can have one profile and a profile can have one user. And to represent that, we've got this field here on our user that is called profile and it references the profile model. And on the profile side, we've got a user field that references the user model. And then we've got this extra field here, user ID. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna match up with an ID on a user that sort of links the two. And that's what we've described here with this relation. We're saying we have this user ID field and it should match up with an ID on a user. And to query this data, this is just a little sample query I've made where we're finding all users and we're including their profiles. And what you're gonna get back from that is just an array of user objects, so their ID and email, and then it'll include the profile object here and you'll get the data like that. The next kind of model is a one-to-many and what this is gonna look like is very similar to a many-to-many, -many, except we've got an array in here. So we've got users and a user can have many posts. So that's exactly what we've modeled here. We've got a posts, uh, we've got a posts field, and we're saying that this will be an array of post objects. And that references this post model. And on this post model, uh, the relationship is very similar to that one-to-one -one relationship. We've got a user ID, and we're just saying this should match up with the ID of some user. So a user can have many posts and a post can be related to one user. And what this query is gonna look like is this. We've got our uh, query for our users and then we're including the posts. And what that's gonna end up looking like is this. We're gonna have an array of objects where we've got our ID and our email from our user. And then we've got the array of posts associated with it. Next, we'll look at the implicit many-to-many -many relationship. And this relationship allows us to have many different posts associated with many different tags in this case. And normally when you'd model something like this, you'd have some intermediary table where you store the relationship between a post and a tag. And then there can be many of those and which allows you to have that many to many relationship. In the implicit many to many case, we actually have Prisma under the hood handling that intermediary table for you. So it'll create it and name it. However, uh, under the hood Prisma names it and it just handles that for you. So here we're saying that a post can have many tags and a tag could be related to many different posts. Um, so if we were to query for this data, it would look something like this. We're finding all of our posts and we're including all of the tags associated with it. And that will result in an object that looks like this. But with an implicit many-to-many -many relationship, what you get is ease of use, but you're trading off the, um, the customizability of an explicit many-to-many -many relationship. So let's look at that one next. In this case, you're actually handling that intermediary table yourself. So we have a post model here and a tag model, and these are both related to a post tag model, and they'll have many of those. And what this is gonna be is that intermediary table where it links to one post and one tag. So it links one post to one tag. And then we have this compound ID representing the ID of the post tag. And so there could be many of these and these post IDs and tag IDs are not unique. So it can link different posts to different tags or the same post to many different tags or vice versa. So that's how we get that many to many relationship there. And if we were to query for this, it would look just like the implicit many to many relationship query where we uh, find all of our posts and we include the tags for it. The only difference is that we're actually managing that intermediary table ourselves. So that's all the ones that I'm gonna cover in this video. There are self-relations and nested documents if you're using something like a NoSQL store, uh, but I'll cover those in a different video. So thank you for following along and I hope it helped.